Welcome. You are now tuned into the Textually Active Podcast. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Textually Active, your weekly dose of conversations about navigating the digital age while dealing with friendships, relationships, and all the ships in between. I'm Rez, and I got Meezy with me. I'm here. I got E with me on the boards. Yo. And we're ready to talk. It's been a long week. We haven't recorded since last Friday. We are coming to you live on Sunday. I was... Awake at 8 a.m., got shook out my sleep by a little earthquake, and uh, today has been different. Can't relate, man, fam. Slept right through that thing. You were sleeping good? Slept right through that thing. I woke up, I felt like the bed was body rock, and I was like, oh, this is nice. Like, this is cool. And then I fully got awake, and I was like, I don't think they're supposed to be doing this. Then I looked up and shouted for the love of my life. I said, babe. He said, get in here. That's fine. And we both got into the tub. And at that very moment, which we don't know if was the right thing to do. Once I got in the tub, I looked down and realized <laughs> that I didn't have no damn clothes on. It wasn't no tornado. <laughs> but I thought it was a tornado. All I knew is that the room was shaking. And I was like, oh, my gosh, what if this is a tornado? Shit was falling? Make it? Like, no. Pictures and shit was falling off the wall? No, it was oh. like a soft shake. It was like a little. Oh. Like a little, a little, a little shimmy, yeah, a little, little shimmy, a little, a little shimmy. shimmy, a little shimmy. It, like one of those things where you couldn't tell if it was like a train driving by, even though there's no train tracks close to us. But that's how it felt like if a train well, is close to your house. I think it is. And the house, well, they, they have those things haven't been up since uh since the mall's been open though. Mm-hmm. Oh. So like they they're not yeah they're not they're not active. But that's what it felt like. It was like that type of shake. But so can I tell you something though, Meezy? Look, you don't ever, you never know what uh vulnerability feels like. It was when you are, you know, taking a deuce and you know, the ground starts shaking under your feet and you start feeling the vibrations like because you're, you're barefoot and, and, the, and the, what's going on? I'm like, I'm like, what the hell is happening? And now you're hearing the, the, the mirror uh, starting to shake and stuff like that. All you got to do is hope you got to get a, get a clean pinch. A clean pinch. Clean pinch. I, I, just, I can't relate. Jazz I don't told know me what, that shit this morning. I said, nigga, you lying. <laughs> that's cap she's like no nah, everybody on facebook i was like you don't even got that many north carolina friends on facebook i don't believe this shit and then everybody of course the black people i know did what black people do we're gonna joke about it <laughs> and they just started telling jokes i'm like i have no idea what happened i said i don't know what the proper protocol is when during the earthquake but I'm pretty I'm pretty sure Twitter has the answers, and I started tweeting about it, and we all started tweeting about it. And I, I think that's how we work through it, because yeah. the news ain't going to do nothing but sit up there and lie to you about it. So let's get the truth. Let's uh, get the real. Thank God then she didn't fall off, because I would have been mad about that shit. Got to clean that up. I'd have been right. mad. Right. Hey, me and Mother Nature would have had the hands. Right. If anything would have fell off that shelf, that counter, that right. glass, whew, it was scary. But um, nonetheless, it was a interesting morning. How are you guys feeling? I'm tired, bro, but I'm here. I'm tired, bro. I'm uh, tired. I just want 2020 to show us mercy. Yeah. Nah, That's it. bro, 2020 been pussy. You seen what it did. It ain't do nothing. It ain't do no cool shit. I, you know one thing that ain't happened this whole 2020 because that damn pandemic? What? Ain't been no mass murders. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody went to nowhere and shot some shit up. Well, how you gonna shoot shit up if it's only five people in the place? Hey, I've seen five less men shot. You That's know what not I'm saying? enough. Like people, if they go on mass shoot, they want to shoot at least a hundred yeah. people. It's, this feel like propaganda always, nigga. I don't know. This niggas in the streets right now, not wearing no masks. Atlanta been crazy, been popping. I'm trying to get down there. I seen everybody this weekend was in Miami on the beach. I've seen a whole lot of people near water this weekend, and it's been lit. I don't know about this pandemic shit. I think that shit might be over. They said Trump trying to send us another little little surge in the unemployment check. I don't know nothing about that. And he trying to drop another STEMI. Yeah, I need that another STEMI. You, you need though. another I STEMI. I need that number STEMI. He said he trying to drop this STEMI soon, and then he going to drop another one come November. I need one he trying more. To, he trying to pay for our vote. He basically trying to buy us off. Hey, I ain't even going to hold you. He dropped two STEMIs, he might get it. I don't really fuck with Joe Biden like that. He ain't did shit to me. <laughs> He's just a face on the board, bro. He ain't did shit to me. Let him be racist. We deal with racism every, racism every day. So you would vote for Trump another four years of hell for what? What days? hell have you been through? This what? might be my most prosperous year. T.A. done took off because Trump been in office. 
this. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Pandemic. All lot. I'm saying. All I'm saying. All is of that. my projects been going up since Trump been in office. Before then, that shit was trash. A lot of people have died. They was gonna do that anyway. A lot of people are no longer here due to the lack of action that the president took during this pandemic. You hate to see it, but they was gonna do that anyway. The virus is still here. It's it's August. He ain't bring it. He didn't do anything to stop it. He ain't. What is he supposed to do? People, he a face on a on a board, fam. He's told people that they don't have to wear mask. He a face to on the, the board. Point where I went to Academy Sports today, and the man bringing my stuff up had his mask dangling off his face. I swear to God, I saw his top lip. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> I support it. Shit, I know I'm in the south. Mm, I so, support it. Uh, speaking of 2020, things are different. Speaking of projects going up, uh, Cardi and Megan dropped the new hot track out here, which brought me to a discussion about. What that pussy talk? Yeah. Isn't that what the city girls say? What yeah. the pussy talk? That or is it cost? What yeah. the pussy? Nah, it's talk. What the pussy talk? Pussy oh. out here talking. Okay. And it's talking very loud. Yes. These it's... women are in their bags and they are talking very loud and very uh, rambunctious. Openly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About their pussy. So, I mean, since pussy is a hot topic right now, I mean, it's it's been hot since, pussy, some... since it dropped. Pussy's pussy been pussy... hot since it dropped. We might get to some pussy talk. talk. Some pussy talk. <laughs> some pussy talk. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I mean, what better time? Who, who, who else but us? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> if it ain't us, do two of us that like pussy? We here. Okay, let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I feel like pussy, <laughs> pussy talk was out way before WAP, right? Yeah. So pussy talk, but it's a whole generation of this. Yes, it's a whole new generation. Uh, and I I applaud it. I respect it. Uh, I know I get a lot of a lot of hate for being a a woman basher, a woman disliker, whatever. But I appreciate it. I think it's uh I think it's cool. I think it's I I think it's a reality. It's just really a reflection of reality. Because in I don't know if it's art imitating life or if, if life is imitating art, but I support it. Just know I ain't got that that much in the bag, so I'm not really you know passing the bag out like that. But you know I can get it. We can we can have a good conversation. I mean, <laughs> I I hold your place in the uh the when when that uh Teflon go on sale. I hold your place. I might not buy it, but I hold your place if you send the cash app to. Sometimes the the pussy. <laughs> It could get you some things. Let's not act like pussy isn't, uh, it, it isn't a prize. The pussy could be worth some things. So, you know, you might not be able to buy the Teflar, but are you able to help me take my tracks out when my when my hair need to come out? I have actually been that guy. Are you willing to, you know, cook me some dinner, pick me up from work? Cook you know, do, the, 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 You know, right. just the cool shit. The, the city girls, they're going to talk about the money part. But let's talk about what the pussy really gets you to do. Can we Can we have a real conversation here? <laughs> yeah. Why are the bitches with money need more money? Thank you. Why are y'all <laughs> they're making it? They are making it very hard yeah. for women that they, they ain't got money to get money because the niggas with money want them. Right. And they already got money, so it's a money party <laughs> over a there. Money. It's, it's a money like, party. Okay. All right. Like, fam, I need to keep my money in it. Because I could probably get it a lot cheaper from the girl that ain't got no money. Mm -hmm. You talking about Birkins. All she wants is that little Michael Kors. She do. Or a little coach. A little coach. A little Chanel. A little Dooney and Burke. A little Dooney and Burke can yeah. get you a long way. Dooney is cute. <laughs> that's, that's Don't sleep on Dooney. A little Dooney can get you far. They they want a little bag, nothing too special. They might want a, a new pair of sneakers. That's it. They don't want the Birkin. Them little, them little Nikes ain't nothing but 175. You get them. They don't want the bench truck. They just want a new Honda. That's <laughs> it. Like... I don't. That's a good point. Like the rich bitches going after rich niggas. Like you could get yourself a regular. Why can't you be like Nicki Minaj and get you a man? You probably not oh, like Nick. not not like Nicki. Not a man like that, but a man a regular. Well, never. Mind. <laughs> <laughs> that fam has to ask you judge. I'm, I'm going to backstep. Fam, fam has to ask his judge. Can he see his own? Back, 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 back. <laughs> he can't even see his own kid. Put it in reverse, Terry. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's funny. That's no, a, but just getting yourself a regular regular man because you already got it. At yeah. this point, you just you got a bag, and you just really looking for somebody who appreciates you and don't want you because you got the bag. So I can I don't see why not how that's not accessible. To be honest, you can just give him the money and pretend like he's buying it for you. Oh, uh, I mean, glow me up, shit, glow me up. 
But this pussy, this pussy is at, this, it's talking for a lot. It's asking for a lot. <laughs> And I'm like trying to sit here and figure it out. And I think a lot of the dudes that's like out here complaining and talking about it is upset because one, those those kind of girls ain't looking for them. Mm-mm. And two, them kind of guys ain't willing, can't afford, and not willing to do what they ask for. Can we can we break that down a little bit further? Because that has got to hurt to hear a woman talking about what it takes to get because you never gonna hear what a woman wants to be able to give up the pussy so to hear that she wants a trip to puerto rico or paris and france whatever those girls were saying and you know it's something that you could do if you have money but you don't have the money but you want to do it but you can't so it's like a battle within yourself where you have to go on twitter and then say fuck them gold digging (laughs) bitches because you can't afford it like that has to hurt (laughs) i can imagine being so mad at a woman for using her assets to get something and then you mad because you can't afford it just just, just step to the side i think it's jealousy bro it's just, <laughs> if joking. women wanted to see my dick i'd show it <laughs> if it was profitable for me to show my dick if you could make a song talk about what this penis talk what <laughs> this this PBR. hard ass dick <laughs> h-a-d hard ass dick i'd be out here but don't nobody want to see that shit don't nobody want it don't nobody desire to see my cop <laughs> Please, uh, uh, that that ain't it. All right, see, you see what I'm saying? Exactly. To be honest, penises aren't really that attractive. Like it's 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 actually. So if there's a place where if I even want to talk about this, nobody nobody cares. It's a very niche like group of people <laughs> who care to see like dicks. And so it's like, damn, I can't make no money off of this. I mean, like, what like can this. you say about the dick? Like the dick is hard. Hey, it's, it's they got a hook, got a little lift to a little it. Hook. It's girthy. Like what? What are you saying? It Does that sound good in a rap song? I ain't never heard nobody use it. <laughs> I ain't even heard the gay dudes use Come it in get raps. Hit with this hook, like you could. Can- <laughs> Because there's no lane for it. Like, if the gay dudes can't even get them bars off to other gay dudes, like, it's not a it's not a lane for it. And I feel like that's where the issue is. I think that's where the double standard be. I don't think it'd be, oh, uh, they talking like this because it's crazy. I think it's because guys can't talk like that. Right. <laughs> they can't talk like that. It is trash. I always feel a way about it. So, um, with the WAP... Because it's WAP. It's not WAP. We were, it was no period in between. It's WAP. And, um, WAP is a song that Cardi B dropped with Meg Thee Stallion, and it's an onomatopoeia. Is Um, it an onomatopoeia? Yeah. Because I thought it was an acronym. acronym. It's an acronym for wet ass pussy. No, but it's also an onomatopoeia because the WAP sound is a sound that a wet ass pussy makes. I like it. So it's like a double thing. It's an acronym and it's an onomatopoeia. I like what they're going with it. You know what? Uh, you bought this, not, 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 this, pa- this pandemic has gotten people like you know, gotten people thinking, gotten, gotten people like, creative, gotten people creative. You know what, Corona girl, you can hang out a little longer, girl. And you said that. You, Look, y'all out looking at me crazy. Flavors. I'm telling y'all, absolutely not. Oh, okay. Rona, <laughs> yeah, I'm Rona, Rona, be go. honest. Imagine being outside, being able to hear WAP all five mimosas. Uh, yeah. Or uh, that Chris Brown song. Go crazy. Oh, yeah, nah. I need that. <laughs> That's your shit. That's your I don't even shit. know what you can say. Trips to the crib in the middle of the night. I Fire. I need, I, yeah, I need that. I, I need that. Yeah, I need that. I need to be outside when that I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In the day with the sun shining just like this. Yeah. Like right now. Like, I need to be out there. I'll be wet. Listen, I don't even dance. If anyone I'll knows what the, the song that Rez is trying to sing, like, you know, just comment, please. <laughs> I need it. But I appreciate what they got going on. I appreciate the girls talking that talk like that. It I was mean, a video for me. I'm was? not going to lie. I, you think so? I woke up. I was like, hey, Megan Cardi got something for me today. Let me go press play. Yeah. Boy, was I in for a surprise. I didn't like the song when I first heard it. I did appreciate the sample. The sample is hilarious. And I also like the fact that they're taking uh, control of their own narratives. Like, we make a song about what is pussy. And the the sample is, is some hoes in his house. Mm-hmm. And then the video is them walking through this extravagant house with yes. multiple rooms of different women. I love this. I, like, love this concept. The song was trash for me. I didn't even hear the song. I was just looking. It was but the split. video... It was the tongue. It was uh, me sizing up 
how tall Cardi B was compared to Megan. I was like, damn, Megan, a big ass bitch, but she look good. But she fine. She though. tall as hell. She fine. Look, everybody, all the dudes was watching that video and all they heard was this. I've been, ooh, ooh, look at this shape. Look at this shape. <laughs> I'm in there. I'd have paid for some feet pick from Megan. I had to say that video. I would. I would. Uh, this yeah. Is a, this is a heavy freak alarm. Uh, <laughs> I would have paid. I'd have paid for them feet picks from Megan. Our good sis, uh, Simi, she puts up more her story. You know, she don't be on her story like that. But it said a few lines that were accurate. If there is an uncut version of that video, I'd pay to see it. I would too. And I would too. I would because too. I know there are some scenes where a lip done slid out or a nip slip. You know the behind the scenes was probably crazy. Whew. I ain't even know Car. I ain't, I'm gonna be honest. I ain't even know Cardi uh breasts were that big. Yo, I did not know that. I think she got them, uh, and I may be wrong, but I think she got them redone after she had culture because you know when you have when you're a woman and you get pregnant, your titties do things because they're preparing for you to breastfeed. So I think she got them redone after she had the baby. I ain't know they was looking like that, but that, that little cut out with them pasties. And that. she got the she got that tattoo redone that go up her back. That shit is fire. Let me tell you, I was more firm than a law office. Until I saw, until I saw <laughs> that 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 lady with no lips, and I was like, "What are you doing here? Yeah, was, like, why are you? What is the point? Why I are you like, marching down the hallway? She made me soft. <laughs> <laughs> shit, shit went from brick to gummy worm. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" I, I, cause I'm only upset by this because I think this should have been, I think this whole, uh, revolution of female women and like female artists and rap women is a, also like a, a celebration of, and I know we hate to say it, but like women of color, like black women specifically, but then like Rosalia been in a video and she's like Spanish. So I felt like it was like supposed to be a like woman of color type celebration. And then Kylie walk her slow motion ass down the hall. And I was just like, bro, to why? Do what? Like, why is she in this video? To do what? No, I don't know about you guys, but nobody has ever said to me, you know who I want to bang? Kylie Jenner. I, I might. Mean, I heard it once, and it was this week, and I was disturbed. Nah, I heard it before that. I heard it about about four years ago. Tiger was out here. Okay, Tiger wanted Tiger, to bang. Tiger, right? Tiger had her. But I just and it shows you Tiger was a nasty nigga because he, he wanted to, he wanted to fuck her when she was ugly. We don't talk about that. <laughs> we don't talk about that enough. He wanted to fuck her before the billion dollars. I mean, Travis got it, and he he set himself up for always. But Tiger was out here before that, being a nasty boy. Mm hmm. Had his eyes on the prize. He knew what was up. So, video was good. The girls look great. I saw some features of up and coming rap women in the game. One of them is Suki Hana, and Shout she is Suki. a super, super, super hoe. Sexy, and she's proud of it. Sexy. And I, it was a video on Twitter after the um the whole video came out. The Watt video came out. She was walking with her titty out, bro. Like marching down, talk about I come from a long line of hoes, a generation of hoes. My grandmother was a hoe. My mother wasn't a hoe. It skipped her. And she ain't raised me to be like this, but I'm a hoe too. And I'm like, you know what? You know what? I'm here for this. It's the honesty for me. It's the honesty for me too, because it was a time in middle school where you were ashamed for being a hoe. Like you were, it was shameful for women to express their sexuality and to be able to say, I like this and I like that. I don't want it like this. I want this nigga to do X, Y, and Z. And it was like, oh, she's a hoe. Nobody needs to speak to her. Like, leave her alone. But now we're in this time where, um, I think I was listening to, um, I was working out and on the playlist there was a song, What Would You Do If Your Son Was At Home? City Girl, City High. And I was like, if that song would have came out now, it would have hit different because they were shaming her for being a hoe. But here it is, 20 years later. But that's because she was a bad hoe. I, she left what, her son at home. What, she I mean, was out hoeing she... and, her, and her son was still hungry. Like, yeah. you are not, you're not hoeing correctly. Yeah, she wasn't. So, yeah. That, okay. So, um, <laughs> I mean, all right, maybe I, I, I didn't really. No, her I son really... was at home, so she had to go out. Yeah, maybe. And the only way to feed him is to sleep with a man for a little bit of money. Right. Okay. She wasn't hoeing, right? No, she had to go home. Her her son was hungry, which caused her to look at herself, evaluate her situation, realize that she didn't have a job, but that pussy is always on go. So that's when she decided, I could work this thing to get me a little change aid to feed my baby. So that's 
that was a just a song. They're asking for Birkin bags, Riz. <laughs> That's ten thousand dollars. <laughs> what was she hoeing for if she was only doing it to feed a kid? It was the shame that, the, and that brings me back into why it's, it's bad the whole shame. So since she was shameful about doing it, she couldn't like put her back into it. So she probably just got like a little twenty five. I mean, we live in this new general. It's a new era, bro. Women are getting to the bag because of how they look, how they talk, how they like are this replica. I like to say they're just a reflection of the niggas that used to do this. Like they, like we made fun of hot girls versus hot boys, that uh, city boys versus city girls that entire summer, and it was only. The girls doing what the guys usually do. Yeah. It was the girls taking out all the aggression that had been used on them. And ain't shit. I got an ain't shit nigga. You know what I'm about to become? Ain't shit girl. Ain't shit bitch. <laughs> uh, he don't text me back when I be wanting to talk to him. What they turn around and do? They stop texting back. It's just a reflection. And put it up. What you want red? You know what I'm saying? It's just a reflection of what was happening to them. And they're now using it to their advantage. I'm not upset. Because I I have somebody who doesn't do me like that, and I'm very appreciative. But I'm also not upset because it's a it's a thing where it's just like, all right, either deal with it, up, step your game up, or deal with it. You niggas out here always preaching about what you can do for a woman, what you can't. Hey, step up. step up, step up, and do so. Figure so, it out. I mean, I feel like the worth of pussy is just up there. Like for some reason. Everybody just wants to have one, do something with it, you know, manipulate it, have it and say that it's their own. That men, w- men and some women too, because the, the lesbians be out here over the pussy going crazy. Yeah. So I feel like pussy is, pussy is like gold. Pussy is very high price. It's right very, now. it's, it's very premium. It's top of the market. It's premium. Yeah. That's premium. And pussy. people, some people said that the, the, the value of the market value of pussy was going to go down because it was everywhere, but no, it hasn't. I mean, actually, I mean, no. I think there's levels. You think the value of the I pussy think, went down because I think, of that? I think it's like, uh, it's like sneakers, like, you know, Nike is like very high, but then designer shoes also make very, very nice tennis shoes. I think it's that. I think there are some girls who you can get the pussy for a uh, seafood bro, but I also think there's women that you could also get the pussy for a four for four. <laughs> so, I, I feel like I feel like there is like certain degrees, and you gotta play in your ball field. I say <laughs> you gotta know your sport, and you gotta play in it. There are flavors for everyone. Yeah, like so. I'll personally say this before I jump into my next point. Um, I think that the value of pussy has went up. Because girls figured out how much everybody was making on OnlyFans to play with their and do their thing. Yeah. So they figured that out and they're like, wait, I have one of those too. So I shouldn't be taking the four for four dinner. I should ask for a seafood broil or I should ask to go out of the state for a weekend date or something like that. No, nah, they fucking the game up. Man. And so now the girls are expecting a little bit more, especially when you have songs like Pussy Talk and WAP and all this stuff. But I'll also ask, is the pussy that's willing to eat a four for four, is it the same quality as the pussy that's, that wants lobster and steak? Yeah. Okay. You know, a lot of women, you know, a lot of women are like, you know, they have issues with self-esteem and they have a lot of issues with, you know, insecurities and stuff. It's the same pussy. <laughs> like, it's just how you present and how you represent that pussy that's different. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a bunch of it's fire pussy you can only call at eleven thirty at night and pull up on. So you mean to tell me every pussy is the same? I don't really be seeing the difference. Some of them it's just about it's about who come with that pussy. It's about the person that come with the pussy. Cause sometimes the people the people that come with them pussies be trash. Like the person that the pussy is attached to. Fam, I be there was a time in life I used to be like, why am I here? <laughs> and it was only because of the vagina but i'm like why am i here i don't want to be here but you know if i go home i'm gonna be a little lonely <laughs> so i might as well stay so i'm 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 very sure now in a time where these girls is fucking up the only fans play uh ruby rose i know you made a lot of money but if you only put in the same pictures that you put on uh instagram on there 
I ain't coming back. I'm about to unsubscribe right now. You got my little twenty five dollars for the first month. And that's it. Twenty five. Yeah, that's that's. Shit. See what I'm saying? And then you got another class of women that are like, "Hey, subscribe for free, but to see the real deal, you got to pay for it." Me and Mercy got me I, like that. She had a little I, I just, special. I just I'm find not doing the economics it. behind this whole thing hilarious because. They'll spend twenty five dollars for for you know per person on um, OnlyFans, but the moment that uh, <laughs> the moment that Netflix goes up fifty cents, like everybody wants to lose their mind. Listen, I, I like porn. I'll pay. You know why? Ain't never be my dick to Netflix. <laughs> I've never found satisfaction in Netflix. No. You can't <laughs> nothing on Netflix. You have to watch the Netflix original or try to find like the lowest budget. And it's nigga, not the even circle porn. bit. The circle ain't came back in three months. And I want to see a new. I want to see a new season. But that girl on Netflix, she put up a new video yesterday. The girl on OnlyFans, you mean? Oh yeah, the girl on OnlyFans put up a new photo video yesterday. Mm-hmm. I'm here for it. It's new something. content every day. You know, you in micro content. You know, <laughs> feed the people, supply and demand. Right, people want to see it. Yeah. So if I mean, if you have an extra 11, 12, 25, 25 is high. 25 is a lot. 25 is high, but... Is 25 a lot for pussy? No, it's not a lot for pussy. Because I think it's just the, the, the have fantasy. We, have we reached our limit yet? No. What? Okay. Of the, how many times do you say pussy? Yeah. We just we said the whole episode is about pussy. I like it. <laughs> so we're talking. But what I'm trying to figure out is where do we draw the line? Because he's, I think women are using... They, they know it's... I don't, I don't know how to. I don't know how to describe these men. There are these guys who are willing to pay for this fantasy. So the same way we could say that women who are charging are messing up the game. For there's, there's guys other out women here that, messing up the game because they just willing to pay for it to get this sick fantasy off. Like it ain't too many like girls I don't know that I'd be willing to pay for OnlyFans, and that's just me. I mean, I'm all for supporting a black business, but I also like to support black businesses that I know. So, so I I found it like wild that it'd be like, you know, what I'm saying, you see this girl on Twitter, you don't have no interaction with her, but you just paid her twenty five dollars and you continue to pay her twenty five dollars, and you don't even get a hey, she don't even know who you are, she ain't acknowledged you at all. But on the flip side, I guess is the guys that's like willing to do it. That's like creepy to me. Like the guys is willing to pay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not just. It's a lot of free porn, and I, 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 I can pay for that. It's a lot of girls. I like. It's. I would much rather buy myself stuff than pay for somebody else stuff that I don't know. We don't go to the grocery store and see a girl and be like, "All right, I'm about to buy you." I guess they do. Yeah, it's some nasty. You said a, oh you told us a story. Hey, also. guys is nasty, and I apologize to the women. Y'all are nasty. Thank you. Y'all are nasty. Y'all just do anything to try to fuck and think that's how it works. Yeah, pretty much. Every day, it doesn't matter. Um, You could try to dress it down. You could dress it boy, boyish. It's still lesbians out here who are full-blown lesbians that get hit on just because they know what they got carrying in between them legs. And they're like, I want that. And it's kind of like, Damn. why would you... Even, like, she clearly is uninterested in, in you or anything you have to offer. She's a lesbian. Oh, now I changed my thought, bro. Pussy is probably the most powerful thing in the world. Yeah. Yeah. It's the most powerful. Like, fam. So can you even put a price on pussy? You probably you probably can't. It's priceless. And pro- you probably can't. You can uh, probably get it on sale like, like on Amazon or something. But <laughs> it ain't. That's just you seen it. You can't put like a, re- a real a real price on it. And for all of you ladies out there who I know there are some of you, Meezy, you spoke on it before. But the ladies who don't really know how to market said product, right? Which we're we're gonna refer to the pussy as a product now. It is. A product. It is a product. So if you don't if you don't know how to dress it up, the packaging isn't right. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. We got you covered. So let's right. start. What is a bad vagina? What? What? How do you know the product is bad? If I'm not like willing to take time out of my schedule to even uh, attempt at a shot at it, nah, you probably some. It's something about you, sweetheart. 
It's you, sweetheart. It's, it's you, sweetheart. Like if if you can ask me for the bare minimum, like hey, can uh can you put gas in my car? Like I need like twenty bucks to put gas in my car, and I say no. <laughs> that means I'm not like doing anything to get the vagina. It's time to reevaluate your vagina. Yeah, it's it's and it's the simple things. Like you can ask simple things, and nobody's willing to do it. It's you, and therefore your pussy ain't shit. Okay. Um. I would say, you know, <laughs> in that instance, that's when you do need to re- reevaluate your product and how you're presenting it to people. Because it may not be the girl. Um, we've all had situations where the girl wasn't working, and that is not the girl's f- fault. <laughs> Sometimes the, <laughs> the girl just, she isn't ready. Um, she doesn't like the way she ain't got her mind right she's today. being approached. <laughs> um, the approach is rough. It's not what she was expecting. Um <laughs> And you know the girl is sensitive. Everything just the 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 perception is, and it's it's the pick me's out here, the ones that say I get wet from sucking dick, my pussy stay wet, da 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 da. da I got that wet wet Facts. that wop wop Facts. that. Facts. Man, relax, because we know Facts. you had a bad. There day. has been a time you ain't hit, you ain't shooting thing, fifty. Well, that thing wasn't hitting that thing. Yeah. You and you know that thing when it when you get in there and it, it's sticky. You know, I'm glad we you were ovulating. This video, That's what the, we video record this because I need to see what you do. Just. <laughs> You were ovulating. That's why I was sticky. So, you know, it's times where that girl isn't ready. And I just want to take some time out and say, it's not your fault, sweetheart. It's not. It's not. It's not your fault. You had a bad day. You had a bad game. It's nothing wrong with a spit start. Everybody pussy don't stay on wet, wet. And if it do, you know, you might need to get that checked out. It shouldn't be wet all the time. That and, like, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the inability to speak about what it is, because I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna put you on a little secret. Uh, guys don't be knowing what to do. <laughs> so if it worked one time for um, A, I'm gonna try it again on B and see if it work. And if it work on B, this is now my move. <laughs> this is now my bag, and I'm working. If the girl like the little lick behind the ear thing, and Every she, girl not gonna if like she that. squiver, she might not. But if it work, I'm trying it again somewhere else. If you like the, you know, you get in between the little neck right there, you get that part, and it work, boom. Uh, that you gotta like learn to teach the guys that you, because he might not have bad dick. Mm-hmm. It's just this is the dick he been working with for a long time, and for him, nobody's complaining. A lot of times, that first fuck is scary. Yeah, you. I it's always say you gotta fuck somebody both, three times. Yes, I always say that too. It's scary for both parties because I I've had experiences where I showed up for the first fuck and the girl was not there. She was like, "Yo, I don't know who this nigga is. I don't know why he touched you like that. Oh, did he just grab your shirt off you?" <laughs> Oh my gosh, girl, get out of there! And she's like telling me all this, and I'm like, "Bitch, get it! Get, I like him. Right. I like him. You like Let's him. do it." Yeah. And um, you know, you have to be mentally prepared to do it to somebody for the first time. So if you do it with somebody and it's it's amazing, and you come back for more, and he becomes your husband, then you know you did something right. Exactly. But everybody isn't that fortunate. Don't take be take it easy with the girl. Take it easy with your product. You know, um. Take the time to talk to the man and let him know she need a spit start. Don't be afraid to have that thing on you. That thing is that lube. Yeah. Squirt a little bit on your finger, rub it down there, d- lube the dick up too, because that should be dry, oh. and, and do what you got to do. Might have to take a note on that. <laughs> it's called a spit start. You, you said put a little on your finger. On your finger, oh. rub it in between the lips, because sometimes it's rough. I got you. And if you, if you, it, it's not good. It's not good going in dry. You gotta, you gotta have tips. You gotta like have a, a game plan. Mm-hmm. Cause you know, you know, guys have that shit too. Like you know, you know, sometimes if I think you know it's gonna be a, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a little short game tonight. <laughs> I got a little, I got a little freestyle dick in me tonight. It ain't gonna be that long, but it's gonna be decent. I might you know get one off before I come to the before I show up for the concert. But sometimes you know, I think it <laughs> the fun part be like. We have to at least, like, know yourself, ladies. Girls, count those days. Because there are days in the calendar where she ain't going to do nothing for you. But there are days in that calendar month in between that period where she going to do something for you. So know your days. Know your days. And know, uh, know, know what it is. Because just because you gave it to me on today and now I feel like I'm very interested and I'm doing it, it wasn't because of her. Mm-hmm. It wasn't because of her. It was because you gave me this opportunity and I'm just thankful to be here. <laughs> So maybe we can do this again, and I'm going to try it again 
but I'm really just thankful to be here. Right. Like it wasn't her. It was the second yeah. time now you checking out. Well, what this what, what did she really got? What now, can she really do? She ain't, third time this thing better be hitting for something. The guac one ain't with. Like <laughs> like you ain't even had a guac guac red. Drink your water, ladies. If you want a wet mouth, drink the water. If you want a wet box, drink the water. And don't don't let people pressure you into squirting. Cause I did it once and I've been chasing that squirt for a while, but I, I just can't do it anymore. And um yeah, don't I don't, don't, I don't feel this, pressure. I don't think this was the place. Oh, okay. Yeah, you probably the, the squirt. Yeah, because they're gonna wanna... they're gonna take that elsewhere. Oh, they're gonna they're not gonna blame you. They're gonna blame somebody else. Oh, <laughs> and we also know who you're somebody else is. We probably shouldn't have said that here. <laughs> y'all can come talk shit if y'all want to. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying they're not gonna blame you for that. No, but you st- we still have time. It is a it's a working process, you know. It's it's a it's tricks and tips to squirt. But everybody, you know And it's piss anyway, so whatever. It's not piss. That's what haters say. I don't <laughs> <laughs> it's not piss. And know yourself. You you ain't been in your whole bag because you are this better person. Ain't nobody touched that thing in a minute. So don't try to judge, oh boy, because you finally got to a place where you think you want to give him some and it don't hit like that. That might have been your fault. It might have been fault because I I also heard that a lot of women out here are not masturbating, and it's sad for me. <gasps> what? It's sad to hear that the girls aren't touching the girl. The girls are not touching the girl. Why? And it's, it's wild out here. Well, to why hear. wouldn't you touch the girl? She's practically begging for it. I know it's coochie cobwebs. She out just here. wants some TLC. Yeah, uh, they said they don't do it. They never did it. They don't like plastic dick. They they just like real dick, and it's like fam. The only way somebody can pleasure you is if you know how to do it yourself. Hey man, now, now you, now you talking? I'm just saying. <laughs> it's some things that I figured out that I like that I took to Eric. I was like, yo, if you do this like this, it's gonna be, it's gonna That's get a little crazy. See what I'm saying? Gonna you gotta know crazy. yourself. Can you leave my name out of this? <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> I, I, I know my stroke count. No, and but depending you- on what kind of day it is. You got about four good ones. But if it's a good day. Means he's yeah. like, hey, you leave my name. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, Measy, Measy talking about like this, like the, the movie uh, where Justin Timberlake was in, In Time. Yeah. Where it's like, you just, you got a certain amount of time. You got to know, you got to know yourself. And I think that comes with, I think these girls know that. I think what pussy is about is women knowing themselves. Mm-hmm. That whole conversation they was talking about. This is what I can do. This is what I got. And this is how I use it. Yes. And it's about the presentation, too. I think good pussy and bad pussy is all about how you present it. Because you could bring that box over here and a T-shirt and um, ball shorts. But are you confident? Do you know what you're doing? Do When you pull that pussy out, are you proud of that pussy presentation? Or are you high in behind the covers? Like, what are you doing? Because you got to pull that pussy out proud. You got to pull it out like a nigga whip out his two-inch dick. Like, boom, bitch, it's here. She has arrived. What are you doing? And you got to look at him. You got to let him know, hey. I want y'all to know that she is not talking about me. I'm not- <laughs> You know, I want the I want people listening to this to know. Hey, you might have you might have that fire, but you talk too much. I never got to it. I couldn't get past you. I couldn't get back. I couldn't get to know you <laughs> to know if you got that fire because I I was not intrigued enough. Oh my gosh! Like, so yeah, so it's more than it's more than just you know what I'm saying. Like physical. Like of course you had a fat ass. You have a, the nice breast, and it's cool. Mm-hmm. And if you serve up this opportunity for me to bless this place and go and enter this this space with you this of, temple i'm gonna i'm gonna take it okay um i am like golden child i'm going to that temple but if i can't like if it's no more than that you're not gonna get no more than that if you can't get past that she talked too much like if 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 she went if, if she, you got to talk her into it like yeah girl you fine as hell oh, i'm all right no Nah, I mean, good. if your pockets can't afford 1942 mimosas, but she look good, you might be, you might have to sit this one out, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I'm saying you might you might need to lower your standards too. I mean, a little Patron margarita reasonably priced. So, all right, so I, I feel like y'all guys, you guys have been talking about this, and so it makes it seem like that if you only spend money or if you only do things a little bit more lavishly, that's the only thing that's gonna work. I feel like that's what it feels like has been the conversation of late. I don't. I don't remember the last time 
like Fantasia came on today and I'm like laughing my ass off about it because when I see you Which song was it? When I see yeah, you Yeah, that was just that's your song. That's my shit. But she only liked the nigga cuz he was sexy. When the last time you heard a girl say, "Oh man, girl, he's sexy." And that's just it. She's like, "I'm writing I'm writing pictures. I'm taking pictures in my notebook." Checking well, Cardi out Cardi my- B said, "Damn nigga, you fine as hell. I hope your wallet got commas in it." <laughs> She said it. And she also mentioned his wallet. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when's the last time? Like, I feel like I feel like women are looking for the total package before they get ready to deliver themselves to anybody. And that's sexually or is it phys- physically, mentally, spiritually. They need to know that everything about this person is at least enough for them. And the bare minimum doesn't do it no more unless it's money. Like, if I feel like you can supply me with all of this, you can you can fulfill me financially, we can make something happen. You know, I'm willing to, you know, dumb it down a little bit just for that. But I think, like, in order to get one and keep one, they are like at like looking for the whole package, and I'm not even gonna say looking for a lot because that's probably what you're supposed to look for. That's probably what you're supposed to want. But so, are you saying that women would they want the whole package? They want a man that looks good, a man that is able to provide, and a man that can knock her socks off. Yeah. But with men, you guys are just looking with somebody to spend time with that doesn't get on your nerves. We just want to like you. So you guys would be willing to stick around if she didn't have no money. If um, I didn't say that, but you know, like, but what I'm the saying, opposite is, of like, what, if she didn't, if she, it's like provide, we can, I can grow, we can grow together. <clears throat> and like we said on that one episode, women are not trying to teach no more, fam. Mm. Like, I like, I can get if I become famous enough, I can get you a fashion nova deal. I can get you a bag. When the last time you seen a girl with a bag get another guy back? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's got to already come in with his bag. Like we said, the women with money want niggas with money. It ain't broke women out here giving niggas, broke niggas a chance, which is crazy. And I'm sad about it because it's too, it's too many likes right there. <laughs> it's too many of the same people out here not giving each other a chance. Broke people not giving broke people Broke people, people not giving broke people a chance. I've, I've seen broke love. You ain't never seen two homeless people walking down the street together? But they've been together for but a while. But they be broke. So they they was, both broke, though. they was probably up, too, at the nah, same time. Nah, I don't think they was ever up the way I was looking at it. The way I nah, said he, them. No, when he says up, he doesn't mean money is high. Oh. Yeah, they was up, like, past. It was fine. Oh, uh, that's we, not what I meant, either. One person had up. We met while we was broke. And then we just So you understood. mean two people who are broke currently... Meeting each other, not they got broke together. Yeah, like yeah, they not, both yeah, yeah, hit yeah, the pipe yeah. at the same time and down it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Down. You okay. rarely see that. Got it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that is an interesting point, but when you have something that's powerful, you gotta use it to your advantage. You have the opportunity to be selective on what you're choosing. Um, the issue is when you're trying to check all those boxes, are you really gonna get all that? I don't see the compromise. I think I I feel like money is the compromise. For, for anything, if he don't show me attention, he at least bought me a Lamborghini truck. Would you rather cry in a Honda or a luxurious car? I don't know that Honda might get better gas mileage. I mean, yeah, the Honda gets it. It's pretty good. Yeah. You don't have to fill up that much. <laughs> I mean, I might not be shining, but is, I do live in a house. Because most of those luxurious cars, it's hard to park. Yeah. Hard to park. The maintenance on them is a lot. Like, you know, that Honda, you can have that Honda to let damn get to a million miles. You good. It was um another thing I wanted to talk on since we're talking about the girl and the product of the day is the maintenance on that girl. Can't that girl takes a lot of work. So I could understand why women would want, you know, you to put something up before you go asking to get inside the girl. Mm-hmm. She she needs to be cleaned properly. If the wrong thing goes in there, it could set everything a flame, literally. Um, yeast infections are uncomfortable. You have to keep the girl dry. Hold on, I thought you were talking about babies. 
Oh yeah, she'll, she'll, if the wrong thing go up in there, set that shit on fire. But uh, the the girl, she takes a lot of work. So I understand why women put a lot of value b- behind that because it is a it's merchandise. It's expensive merchandise that you have to carry around and you have to take care of every day. So for somebody to want to intrude on that, you gotta give me a little sum, little sum. Damn, I love something. It shouldn't be a Lambo truck. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean. Hey. Damn, I wish I was sexy. <laughs> um, can we take a break? Let's take a break. I wish I was sexy. <laughs> I'm telling you, I wish I was sexy. And we're back. Um, Mizi, you left off saying something yeah. about wishing you were sexy. And it sounded like you needed a pregnant pause to get your thoughts together. But it, I think you're ready. What were you? What, I'm, I'm why saying, do you wish bro. you were? What I'm saying is, I wish that as a man, I could just be sexy, and that's it. Like, this is no shade to sis, because whatever sis is doing is working. It's working. But I have no idea what Ari G. Herbo's baby mama, now money back girl's girlfriend, does. Except for look good. You know what I'm saying? There is no man in the world that you can name who just look good and don't have a, a a job or a talent. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I was just sexy, wouldn't nobody give a damn about me being able to throw my dick in a circle? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody would know. And there's not, like, even with supermodels, mm-hmm. we can name, su- Naomi Campbell has been very, very popular for a very long time very just fine. because she's sexy. Mm-hmm. Now name me three male supermodels. Tyrese. <laughs> Tyrese sing too though. He acts. It's another one. Uh, uh, Tyson, Tyson Beckford is one. Yeah. Now name me two more. You don't know the guys. Prison Bay. Prison Bay. Prison Bay also divorced a lady who had a billion dollars. So he's got a bag. We don't even know his name. We're calling him Baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're calling him Prison Bay. There's, you know what I'm saying? There's nobody. There's no guys that can do this, and it's wild to think that. The thing is, the question is, if there was a guy that could do it, would he be, would he be given the same regard that an Ari is given? No. Bro. Oh, and I have another. Um, I have an answer for what does Ari do? She's an influencer. A lot of girls see what she does, and they want to be like her. They want that lifestyle. We, so we just talked about this last week. They People look her. at us mm-hmm. and say, "Oh, I want to do what they do," and we don't. We know, do a lot. Don't don't don't. don't ain't nobody. Don't, don't. All I'm saying is, ain't nobody bought us a Lamborghini truck for. Okay. <laughs> I really want that Lamborghini truck. I just keep saying that I do. You said Lamborghini I, truck I, I like six so times this episode. I want it so bad. You better will it into existence. I'm trying to. I'm trying to manifest like be right. some more. Shit. What is? Never. Okay. I mean, um, <laughs> yeah. So you're saying that men, you don't feel like men get enough. We don't get this shot because women sexy. don't give a damn. Like it's, a, they feel like it's a bunch of the sexy niggas. I mean, in the if world. you was carrying some bomb pussy, would you feel like you need to pay for some dick? Yeah. I mean, well, that's because nobody, <laughs> nobody's ever offered to, like, nobody's ever offered to pay for dick. Because why? I don't know. Like, like, why, though? I am a prize, too. <laughs> bitch, Talk. I like Birkins. Talk, bitch. King. <laughs> Talk, King. I want, Ro- I want Ruth Chris. Well, Put them little, sweet po- uh, them little sweet potatoes on the side. Put them yams on the side of my plate. But watch your mouth, King. <laughs> <laughs> Even Beyonce said she told Jay-Z she was going to take him to... For dick. Red Lobster when he fucked me good. She even Beyonce knows pussy is power. Like fam. Uh, Red Lobster ain't nothing but a seafood Applebee's so she need to stop fucking playing. Good dick get you the bare minimum. <laughs> <laughs> like good dick don't get you she good shit. Yeah, when he fuck, I take his ass to Red Lobster like Red Lobster is that girl. Red Lobster is yeah. not it. Loyalty. <laughs> Bare quality time. Bare minimum gives you unlimited breath. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like quality, being loyal, not cheating, being loving and attentive gets you the fucking world. Damn, I need to reevaluate this. Babe, but you, good dick you get you red lobster. Is there something I could do to buy your services? <laughs> Lamborghini truck. <laughs> 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 
like I'm just like it's just a wild place mm-hmm. to look. look sitting I'll, I'll there. settle. I'll settle for a Tesla. That's you know what I'm saying? Nigga, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I Wait, just, he pull up in the Tesla, mind your business now. Mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mind your business. But I just be sitting here thinking, like, damn, pussy is powerful because it's just. I don't think I think men don't they don't you know what I'm saying I don't think they respect themselves enough. Well, enough. maybe they need to work on their product and their presentation the same way we said that the girls and y'all got up y'all worth. Y'all got to show the girls that it's bitches out here willing to pay for this, even if it's not bitches. Hold on, somebody's willing to pay for it. Hang on, hold market on, hold, dick. Hold on. All right, so this it has nothing to really talk about marketing for the guy side, right? Yes, for the guys package. So the guy that has an education with no kids and a job, right? They're usually they're usually talked down upon because they hold themselves up to a higher I standard. I wonder. Wait, I wonder. A nigga with a little dick. No, I wonder <laughs> if that's the piece to it that you guys you guys don't. It, we don't it's give not a, fuck. a guarant- <laughs> No, you guys aren't a guaranteed hit. Yeah. But you know when you get some pussy, you're gonna nut. Higher chance as opposed to a girl. Like if I get some dick, it could be small. It could be shrimp. It could be like crazy. Like it might not hit. But if you get some pussy, like you, you nine times out of ten, you gonna make that thing do something. See what I'm saying? I mean, like, so you're saying you saying most times the guy is always gonna get his side of the bargain. Yes, in any encounter. Yes, but we we deal with some with some some nastiness too now. Uh huh. I mean, have you ever? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's like you know throwing a pencil down the hallway or. <laughs> You know, I never heard. I don't think pussy can get loose. You catch, you catch a sale the, the day after the day after at the fish market, right. or um, <laughs> that's yeah. And you and this here's the thing about it: what you're going is the difference between men and women is men don't give a fuck. Yeah, we're just here for the opportunity, and, and that's and that's like putting everybody in a box, right? Because there's gonna be one guy that's gonna be like, you know what, like it's cool. Yeah, because I <laughs> <laughs> it smelled a little bit, but I just got home, took a shower. That was it. You know what I'm saying? Oh she had groceries in her kitchen. The fruit snacks was busting. Yeah, I go back to mall. <laughs> I go back to mall. I'm going back. <laughs> I go back to mall. You know, it ain't nothing but a little shower. No, but that's she my gave th- me chlamydia. That was a little pill. She's still cool. That's my thought about it, though. I feel like uh, girls have car. more to lose. She got a car. She got a car. Girl Fam, got- she comes to me. When you get a girl that come to you, E, yeah. and you ain't got to go to her, you can stay in your own bed for once. And put her out? Nah, yo. <laughs> you can tell her, like, oh, what you about to do? What, you, Fam, what? You ain't got a makeup excuse to leave? <sighs> I think we have, I think women have more to lose. That's why it's so much value. It's more valu- It's more valuable than a penis. Sorry. Ah, fuck that. Sorry, guys. It's foul, bro. I know. There's nothing you can do about it. You got to work on, I mean, because you're right, e, even if they were to, like, market their product and be like, I'm educated, I got a bag, da, 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 then they getting dragged on Twitter for being too confident. <laughs> like, yeah, somebody nigga got humbled. Nigga, don't nobody want nigga. you. Yeah. <laughs> don't nobody want you. But, nigga, uh. You, you and your brunch boots can go somewhere else. Right. Right. Yo, that's so, that's such a nasty game. <laughs> like, you know, like, we can't have self-confidence. Like we, <laughs> like, we need to be, like, we need to know our place. And then, when you don't have the self-confidence and you give her bomb dick they act so surprised like oh my god or even worse when you do have everything going on and then a girl approaches and you are not interested then something's wrong with you now you gay now you gay that's see there's where the double standard is i don't give a damn about you talking about your pussy i mean you you can do all that all day you just better be able to back it up it sounds like the guys we just want to be earned too Earn okay, me. guys, Earn it sounds me. like you guys, uh, I hit a soft point I'm here. I'm, I'm not a sore spot. Yeah. A, a sore spot. I'm you guys um, really are upset about being undervalued. And I'm just here to say, as a black woman, I see you, King. Love y'all, Kings, all right? Y'all yeah, keep doing you your only, thing. You only want a nigga with a big dick. But then, what about what about the nigga that's going to treat you right with the medium? He got the little seven. You know what I'm saying? Speaking it's of speaking of seven, I tape, I tape, I tape, <laughs> I taped managed it. You see, I see, it. I pulled it out. A, a nice little Sam. Yeah. Speaking of uh, WAP, wet ass pussy, pussies and boxes. Um, you are now tuned are now in. in. He's starting to hit that pussy too. You are now tuned in to WMEZ. This week we got uh Dev Dev Devin. I think it's Devin or Devon Devin Culture. This week, the song is called Nine here on WMEZ. Textually active. 
All right, guys, pull your memes out. It is now meme time. And um, I'm going to let you go first, Meezy. Do you have a meme? I do. It goes right along with this subject. Cardi said a line about not cooking and cleaning. Now the girls ain't going to make that shrimp alfredo no more. All right. That, that, that's real. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, I'll go next. Um, <clears throat> In the same, in the, in the same, in the same breath, um, Meg and Janae say the same shit. Janae is just petite and says it with a whisper. Right, that's that's true. I am going to um, take it here from none other than the City Girls. The song is titled "Pussy Talk." There is a lyric. Um, this is for all the big money ladies out there using that pussy. Hey, look, this pussy extort these niggas. Facts. Pussy be like, can you afford me, nigga? Broke niggas in my face. Pussy ignore these niggas. For the bag, pussy speak poetry, nigga. <laughs> this poetry pussy is hilarious. That's all I have. I think it went with the episode. Hey. That's crazy. Hey. Hey. Damn. You, you say what you want about those girls and the way that they talk, but... uh. They're, they're pussy talk. <laughs> I love it, that song. It ain't fine, too. I think that's what it be. Yo, both of them. Both of them. Fine, they got girl. something coming out on YouTube. I got to check it out. I keep forgetting. Mm. But um, speaking of YouTube, you can catch up with this episode on YouTube at Textually Active Pod. We're on Twitter at Textually Act Pod. We are on Facebook at Textually Active Pod. Oh, and also keep a lookout on our social media pages because soon we will be releasing those shirts um, and give you guys details on how you can get your Textually Active merch. So be on the lookout for that. Um, in the meantime, in between time, keep up with us on our social media pages and we'll see you next Tuesday. We'll be back. We'll be back. We fuck with y'all. Love you. Bye. Get that pussy wet. <laughs> wet. Keep it wet. Thank you for listening to the Textually Active Podcast. This podcast is a full service production from the Open Media Lab. Be sure to check in every Textual Tuesday along with following them on all social media at Textually Active Pod. Textually Active is a part of the Open Media Network.